I saw Minal Murli in Hindi and I have thoughts on it. Hello guys, I'm Nona Prince and I watched Minal Murli again in Hindi with family and it was a very different experience than the first time. The first time I watched it in Malayalam with my friend Manoj and we recorded a reaction. So if you want to check it out, go here. Now there may be spoilers in this video, so just warning before and I don't understand why haven't you still watched the movie. Go watch it. You know, watching the Hindi one on TV with the sound system with family was a very different experience. I felt more connected to the film emotionally. And that makes sense because, you know, the characters were talking in a language which I very much understand that I've been listening and talking in it for years. So I think automatically there's a bigger connection than, you know, reading the subtitles. Because it's the same thing, right? The subtitles are translating it in English and the dubbing is translating into Hindi, which I, you know, understand more and better. I feel like I understood the movie way better. And this is not the first time that has happened. Even when I show, you know, MCU films to my family in Hindi, I don't know, I feel I understood the film better. There were some dialogues which I never paid attention to, but in Hindi, they make so much sense. I don't know, maybe in English, I didn't understand them fully or I just let them go. I thought they didn't matter that much. And this was definitely a revelation to me because I noticed many times in the subtitles, there are words used which I even don't know the meaning about in English. My vocabulary is not that great. So it makes sense that watching it in Hindi makes more sense to me. And I feel like the Hindi dubbing is very well done. For me, the biggest issue with Hindi dubbing of Malayalam films is that I know how these actors sound. So when I hear the Hindi dubbing and the sound doesn't match to the actor, it just throws you off. But I would say this time it was commendable. They tried to find the voice which matches the actor. There are a lot of places where the dialogues are slightly changed and mostly it's in the human moments. At some place, I didn't mind that much. But at some place, I was like, come on, that could have been translated to Hindi very well. Why was there a need to change the dialogue? I didn't get it. Now, knowing Hindi well, there were moments where I found, okay, you could have translated that better. There are better alternatives to it. You know the slang difference that when you're talking to an editor and when you're talking to your friends, I feel like the dubbing dialogues don't really follow that. And I think that adds a lot of flavor to the film also. Because I'm sure even in Malayalam, you know, the way you talk to your elders and the way you talk to your friends is very different. The slang will be very different. So I think if that can translate well also in dubbing, it will be great. One more issue was the audio mixing. In the original, whenever there's a dialogue, the music will be lowered so you can hear the dialogue properly. But in Hindi, at many moments, when a secondary character in the scene is talking, the music is not going down. So it's not audible what the guy is saying. Take the example in the beginning when Jason arrives to the village and he's walking in his attitude and there's this old guy you know telling him in Malayalam that what is this fashion you're following. That dialogue first of all is changed in Hindi and secondly I couldn't even hear it because the music is so loud. So I think these are small small things that I think Netflix at least should you know look up and make it better. I feel a lot of places the humor is very much focused on the physical comedy so it translates automatically you don't really need subtitles or dub and that's a big plus for the film you know it makes it universal. Now, what my parents thought about the film, my dad didn't like it that much. He was fine with it. Maybe he was not in the mood or he didn't like it. And I think he likes more sober films or simple films. And I'm planning to show them Thondi Muslim Dikshaksham next. But my mother definitely liked it. And you can actually check out her review on her own channel, Mummy Time. I'll link it on top. Now I'm planning more videos on Minal Burli, which will be coming soon. So bear with me. And there will be interesting topics which I'll be discussing. And also I'm planning a live stream where we'll be, you know, decoding the film. We'll be breaking down the screenplay and, you know, character arcs, everything. So if you have subscribed, do subscribe to get all of that. Through channel membership, you can support this channel and help me continue this journey ahead. And in turn, you get various perks. To know more, click on the join button. For more information, check out the community page. So guys, that is the video. Thank you for watching. If you like this, the thumbs up button. Share this video in the comments your thoughts. If you haven't subscribed yet, check out the videos if you like them too. Do subscribing and I'll see you next time.